Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. You probably haven't seen the trend by now, the I'm a lucky girl syndrome trend where it's like, I'm a lucky girl, everything works out in my favor, the universe allows it, or something along those lines. Basically just affirming that you're lucky and everything just comes to you immediately with harm to none and good to all. You already know the jams. But I wanted to go ahead and do a reading. Currently, as I'm recording this, it is Mercury retrograde as well for we have a full moon coming up in two days. So it's a little wild. The energy is return of the exes, technology issues, delays, miscommunications, all that and more. So we're going to see what we have to look forward to and why we are lucky girls or guys. But Let's go ahead and get started. We got four decks. We're going to start with the tarot, followed up by LaRosha's Goddess Queen, Just Me 23's deck. Then we're going to pull some Moonology since we have a full moon coming up. And then we're going to end with answering two questions with the Angel Answers Oracle that has yes, no answers as well for time frame and other guiding words. So let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know about this lucky girl? I'm a lucky girl. Everything comes to me that I desire energy. Let's see. Whoo. Okay. We love this. Okay. After a period of feeling like you were stagnant, you didn't have much interest in a lot of things that were going on in your life, things just felt like at a standstill. You were trying to break these patterns. Maybe you were repeating the same patterns and you're like why am I stuck I know why I'm doing this I need to release that but I can't energy but you went ahead and you realized that it was a little codependent with the four of pentacles that's where you're holding on to people places and things a little too tightly you're realizing you know it's deep rooted deep seated issues that are you know controlling your behavior and it's really hard to break but you know you need to do it and I'm telling you you are doing that because you're going ahead and making investments so we have the seven of pentacles so things are coming to fruition your hard work is paying off if you've been meditating if you've been getting grounded if you've been doing some deep breathing if you've been trying to be not be controlling that's the situation we're in and I'm telling you this is going to bring you financial freedom financial stability out here with the ten of pentacles you know you got a large sum of money coming your way could be a promotion could be you know a new job a new career multiple sources of income I'm hearing dividing out your resources so it's not all in eggs in one basket but I'm telling you there is movement also coming forward so with seven the chariot that's all about divine timing it's a victory it's a success it's after feeling like things have been stagnant you planted the seeds you're starting to see the progress and it's going to continue to rapidly improve here because you know you are walking oh I love this. Okay, so you're no longer crying over spilled milk. We have the five of cups in reverse. So you're moving forward. You're accepting. You're forgiving yourself, others around you. Moving forward, deciding what you need, what you deserve, what you want. And you're in your queen of wands energy. This is someone who's bold, who is confident, who is sexy. Leo energy being confident. Someone who is very helpful and well-liked. It's someone who is magnetic that can walk in a room and suck the air out of the room. You know, but this is someone who also values, you know, her creative side. I'm just saying energy is energy. Take it where it resonates. But, you know, it's someone who values their home and their work life, their social life, you know, and now you're finally seeing what you have to offer and the potential you can go ahead and give. And we have the five of wands in reverse. So, you know, there's an end of a conflict, end of struggle coming forward. If you've been beefing with someone, maybe, you know, it's time to be relaxed. It's time to just, you know, go with the flow, see where things go. But you're reaching agreements. And I'm telling you, it's going to be great because we have the nine of cups with the wheel of fortune upright. So the nine of cups is all about your wishes coming true. It's your ultimate fulfillment, happiness, joy, everything you want and more. The big kahuna. 
bestie. It's finally feeling like you have abundance, health, wealth, prosperity, love, gratitude. You have a lot to offer. I say that at four for four. And you know, you're standing in your confidence. You're standing in your power. You know your worth. And you're finally being recognized for what you deserve, what you need, what you desire. And it's feeling fulfilled. It's feeling like you have a community of people around you. And the Wheel of Fortune coming out, that's a completion of a cycle. Tens are all about ending karmic cycles. Ending those patterns that were previously making you, you know, stuck in this pattern of behavior out here. It's about time that this comes forward. I'm going to get some more cards, but we have the justice at the bottom of the deck. Let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> yeah, this is a financial new beginning coming your way. Um, obviously there is that embodiment of relationships, but money wants to come out more, being stable, having a lot to offer after doing some soul searching. And I say that, and now I'm moving to the bottom of the deck, but you know, you've had this reflection, you know what you want, what you need. It's that inner guidance. You're trusting yourself. If you feel like you've never been capable of trusting yourself, you're really honestly embodying change at 555 here and really having that introspection after doing that soul searching. And it's honestly moving into a financial new beginning, a business opportunity, a money manifestation, something that allows you to breathe, to experience life, to appreciate the little things and enjoy it instead of being stressed paycheck to paycheck. But you're attracting in a king of cups in your life. So someone who is definitely good at advice that also leaves with their heart space. You know, it's a man a man, don't attach a gender to it, who's in touch with their emotional life, a good friend, a, a mature, emotionally stable person who knows what they want, that follows with their heart, is willing to, you know, sit down and communicate. Let's not be petty. Let's not fight. Let's not do X, Y, Z. And I'm telling you, with the lover's card coming out, it's definitely a soulmate that's coming into your life. It's a, you know, equal give and take. It's a balance in the relationship. It's feeling like, you know, what you give out is getting what you're getting back in return because you have those shared goals, those shared values, those shared morals and what you want in life moving forward. And I'm telling you with the fool, this is going to come very quickly. It's going to come, you know... It's going to be spontaneous, spontaneous, that's the word I need, spontaneous dyslexia. Um, but, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's a lack of a commitment. It's going with the flow. It's trusting. It's taking that leap of faith and starting over in this new beginning. You could be seeing zero, 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 but that's all about, you know, finally feeling free. And I'm telling you with this, we have the eight of wands. So communication is coming in quickly. You know, it's a, it's gaining momentum. It's gaining speed. So you might be meeting someone and then you go on a first date and then it's like, wow, where have you been my whole life? Like you're like waiting for someone to jump out like Steve-O and be like, where are the cameras? Where am I being pranked? But you're not being pranked because we have the star card out here. So have hope that you're finally going to get recognized for the energy and the time and the effort that you've put in 2022 is going to bring this renewal, this new beginning, everything you want and more out here, splitting the deck out here. Yeah, we have the page of cups. So just trusting your intuition and deciding, you know, you can trust yourself and understand when you know you know. And I think you're going to recognize that that a lot of things are going to work out in your favor with the Four of Wands. That is the wedding card, the celebration card, the pillars form 1111. So it's really about, you know, really trusting your intuition and knowing when it, the person is the right person because you're going to know splitting the deck. We got the 10 of cups and then followed by the ace of cups. This is because you learned to love yourself first. You filled up your own cup. Now it is overflowing and now you're ready to welcome in this potential marriage, this happiness, this stability, everything you want because you're a lucky girl or guy out here. But you know, it's that stability. It's finally feeling like things are in a good spot. It's the happiest time you'll ever be in in your life, especially embodying this because you are tapped into your empress energy here, which is bringing forth the two of cups. So the Empress energy is divine feminine energy. It's leading with the heart space. It's, you know, being in your creative flow. It's, you know, feeling what you need to feel, processing it, and, you know, trying to make a caring decision. Getting out of your head and stopping so anxious and really 
just going with the flow of things. I know I've said that a lot, but with the two of cups, it once again, it's that equal exchange, that equal give and take, that love offer that is going to come in and feeling attracted to someone and, you know, finally feeling like things are balanced and where they need to be at in your life. But let's go ahead and jump to deck number two and see what else we need to know about this lucky girl syndrome. What do we need to know? I don't like the way that fell out. Okay, get your sage on. So exactly, you've walked away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You're no longer going to be in those toxic friendships, those toxic relationships of people that go ahead and bring you down and honestly push you to this whole pity party area of your life that you don't want to be in. It's like who you surround yourself with are a reflection of you no matter what because you're going to be in that environment. You're going to have those influences, but you're realizing... As you ascend, you can't take everyone with you. So DNA activation, getting out of the matrix, you know, it's the phoenix rising. It's that rebirth, that renewal, realizing that, you know, your whole entire vibe, your energy does not lie. You know that you can walk in a room and, you know, you're authentically yourself and you're going to push yourself to be the best version of yourself. You're no longer doing things for other people. You're doing things for you because you want to. And this is going to make you attractive to a lot of people. So entanglement coming out. So you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to love. Definitely, yeah, you dealt with your karma. And, you know, as you rise above, especially if you are in the limelight, if you are putting yourself out there, if you are being bold, people are going to stab you in the back, you know, host smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. So just be careful of the energy around you. But did I not tell you your money is about ready to change? So diet changes, change morals, values, ideals, situations. And then with the money issues coming out, you're walking away from that situation, that lack mindset, that victim mindset. And you're being in your abundance flow for sure, which is a good energy to be in. But, you know, not everyone's going to be happy for you. But not everyone's going to be happy because you're calling in a union, something that is longevity has stability is reliable with the marry me card coming out that is an internal devotion so yeah because you've gone through a lot of shit in your life with a soul survivor card coming out so project baby hard not life i overcame my childhood you really have overcame your childhood and you're no longer regretting you're no longer wondering what if you're taking those opportunities as they come your way and you're realizing exactly what you want what you need and what you deserve out here and that's attracting in a queen or king of pentacles so this could be a capricorn a virgo or a taurus if not they might have it in their moon sign their rising sign or their venus sign if not then it's a situation where someone wants to build longevity you feel like home this is stable. This is reliable. Let's build a foundation. Let me be your provider. Let me protect you kind of vibes. And did I not say you're attracting in a soulmate? So divine soulmates union coming in. We come together for a purpose. You recognize me. It's definitely a divine masculine energy who obviously thinks more with their head or their heads. So they are in that probably that emperor energy since you are showing up as the empress or they are in that you know, like King of Pentacles energy, that higher level soulmate vibe. But I'm just telling you, when things start to get good, just be careful. You're going to have to put up some personal boundaries. You might be dealing with a twin flame as well, which is one soul split into two bodies. But I think this person, you know, you walked away from them and you decided you wanted this fresh new beginning, this new start, because this person was too busy listening to their friends and their family around them. So they don't have the best intentions, that's for sure. But someone's mask is going to come off. I would just be careful. That is not just a hookup session. This might be with your twin flame if they just invite you over. You know, whips, paddles, chains. I mean, if you want to get it, bestie. But I'm just telling you, if you want something more, I'm just letting you know that they might just hit you up for a booty call, a late night, I'm in thinking of you vibe, but I think you're realizing that you have a lot to offer. Like I was saying, this is my Rihanna card. This is shine bright like a diamond. And you know, 
you know you're meant to stand out and you're following your passions if that's your passion in your love life your passion in your finances your career your stability it's bringing back a lot of people that are going to miss you from their past because you are a diamond in you know the rough and it's just going to be up to you to open up your heart and decide what you're worthy of what you want what you desire what you deserve what you desire and where you want to take things because you need to stop doubting yourself. So don't let this come forward and sabotage the growth that you've done. Just because your twin flame comes back into the picture does not mean that they're always going to be good. They're always, it's your timing. It might be right person, wrong time. See you next lifetime because you need to pay attention to the red flags Oh my god, my throat chakras started acting up. So yeah, they got shit to say. Um, but be careful of the red flags because I'm telling you, you're in your abundance era. You're attracting health, wealth, prosperity, love. Everything you want, you're accepting all those positive outcomes. You are the lucky girl or guy. And you are attracting in this life partner union. So you're attracting in a person who's going to come forward, who wants to fight for you. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Um, but definitely a king or queen of wands who has a lot of passion for you and it's undesirable and they're definitely going to go ahead and be emotionally involved and cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but they're going to have deep feelings for you and they're willing to give, give, give instead of someone just taking, taking, taking from you. So I think this will be a new energy coming into your life, but keeping those personal boundaries with the people from the past, but Let's go ahead and jump to the Moonology Oracle. See what else we need to know about this lucky girl syndrome out here. What do we need to know about this lucky girl syndrome? Yeah, prosperity lies ahead. Money, 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 honey. We're getting that money. We're seeing where things go. Because confidence is the key to our success. Confidence is sexy. You know what you want. You're being bold. You're getting after it. You know exactly what you want, what you need, what you desire. And did I not tell you that luck is on your side? Lucky girl season, bestie. It is lucky girl season. And realizing that you are good enough. You are deserving of this energy. You are deserving of this relationship, this development, this, you know, X, Y, Z, this job. Just be bold and make the first move. So get after what you want, what you need, what you desire and move forward with that because I'm telling you, emotions are running high right now. Especially if you are seeing this through Mercury retrograde, it's December 29th through January 18th. Things are going to be wild. Things are going to be, you know, out of balance because, you know, once Mercury retrograde comes to an end, it removes things out of your life that need to go. And a new start is coming. You might be seeing a lot of 111 energy, but a win win outcome is forecasted. So you have a lot of things to look forward to. And things are coming into balance with the Libra energy. Like I was saying, anything that was imbalanced in your life is setting you right on this path because you're very, you're very close to achieving your goal. So it's kind of like you're at the end of things. You might be seeing a lot of nines um, right before that 10 of that karmic cycle. But we did have the Wheel of Fortune come out. And it's just realizing you need to work through your fears. Scorpio energy. And you and your loved ones are safe. So, you know, you're going to be okay. The people that are meant to be in your life will be in your life. The people that were not meant to be in your life are not going to be in your life. But I'm just letting you know, hold your vision. So keep focused, you know, maybe make a vision board because you need to have faith in your dreams. If you know something is going to work out in your favor, if you believe in it, if you want it really bad, if you know, then just go ahead and surrender to the divine and always lead with your heart space. So bring love into the situation because I'm telling you a new romantic cycle is about ready to begin for you. Once again, Libra energy, things coming to balance in your love life, in your financials, you know, and it's just a time to go ahead and communicate. So communication is key. So you know, speak what you're feeling. Don't hold things back. Don't, you know, undermine people's emotions. Really understand that and realize that you don't want to let your past hold you back anymore. You want to move forward and decide where things go because you're ready to expect powerful change. You're ready for things to change in your life. You're ready to take control of your life. Grab the bull by the horns, you know, put on your big girl panties and decide where do you want to take things? Where do you want to go? 
because the universe is ready to work out in your favor. But let's go ahead and do Angel Answers Oracle. So I want you to go ahead and think about question number one and let's get you some answers. So question number one, think about a person, place, or thing. And I'm going to get you some answers. Take, take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. What do we need to know about question one? Okay, well, first, the answer is yes. Once again, we have the angel that has the sun and kind of the moon, so the higher self and the shadow side balancing. Once again, Libra energy, things coming in your favor because you're going to be successful in this situation. So a better outcome than what you could have expected because you're ready. You've done the work. You're ready to put forth your best energy, decide where things can go, stand in your power, and the universe is asking you, don't stop. Keep one foot ahead of the other and keep it moving. So whatever you've been doing, things have been going your way for sure. But yeah, this will start to work out and you'll see everything work out in your future, probably within the next two to four weeks in this situation out here. And, you know, if you believe that this is meant to happen, it's going to happen. You might just be in recovery mode, balance your emotions, don't act impulsively, and really just understand that there's no need to worry at the bottom of the deck. The situation is going to work out exactly how it was meant to be. And just let go of any expectations, any need to control, any codependency, anything along those lines. And if you need to, just meditate, get grounded, breathe through it because, you know, it's going to be an illusion if something is not working out in your favor and you're like, mm -hmm, what about this? But I'm just letting you know, just take those deep breaths, think through it and it's going to work out. Okay, let's think about question number two. What do we need to know for question number two? Well, you got abundance. So if you're thinking money, prosperity, love, gratitude, you got the abundance card coming out. The answer is yes. Within the next few weeks, so two to four weeks, my love, just remain positive. So positive thinking, you are a lucky girl, you are a lucky guy. Everything works out in your favor. The universe has your back because, you know, you're going to walk the walk and talk the talk. You're going to get an opportunity out here that there's something better. And I'm just letting you know, romance is a possibility in this situation. You know, you just might have to get more information about this person, place, or thing. But if you go ahead and see a cardinal within 48 hours of this read, that's confirmation that, you know, this is going to work out in your favor and be everything you want and more. But besties, this was a great reading. I hope it resonated. Start saying that affirmation 10 times a day. Why not? Let's challenge ourselves to do it. Put in the comments below, I'm a lucky girl slash guy. Everything works out in my favor. The universe has my back. And watch what comes to you. I love you so much, besties. Subscribe to be entered to win a free personal private reading. I'm selecting a few people in the next day or two. So you want to be on the lookout for that. And it really helps your girl out. And until next time, drink your water, take care of each other, and you know, it's one of those things. Breathe through it. Mercury retrograde is a bitch, but you know, you're in control of your actions, your reactions, and your emotions. No one can take that away from you and just breathe through it. Everything's an illusion and it'll be okay. And until next time, bye besties.